All right, let's talk about this Heritage Glen. Yeah, this uh, this is a 308RL, uh, one of the one of the most popular uh, uh, bigger Heritage Glen travel trailers with the rear living layout. Um, when we get inside, you'll see that we have uh, arch ceilings, so there's a lot of headspace in there. There's an island. There's all kinds of cool stuff. But looking uh, looking along the outside, of course, uh, as Heritage Glen is traditional. Um, you know, they have the nice fiber sided out outdoors. Right. You got big two panoramic, huge windows yeah. on the slide, uh, plus pass through windows on both sides. So you can get a nice breeze rolling through two awnings full size, One almost, on the slide. That's kind of almost nice. the entire side of the trailer is an awning. Uh -huh. So even though you have a slide, the awning is placed on the outer part of the slide. Right. So therefore you're not losing any real estate under the shade. Right. Um, now, when these come out, the back will come out a little bit further, but still, no doubt, for square, sh square footage of shade, mm -hmm. you're going to be good to go. And of course, as you see, the LED lighting under both of them. And um, now, I know that um, the slide is out, you can't really see it, but one of the really cool features about a Heritage Glen on these, on these trailers is the, is the spread between the axles. I was say, the tires this, look far apart. They are far, they are further apart. So when this thing goes down the road, it's going to handle very well. Okay. Now, of course, the, you know, the closer the axles are, you know, it can bounce and pivot a little bit uh -huh. uh, more erratically than something like that. So therefore you're not having both tires in a pothole versus just one at a time. That's good. Therefore you're going to get a lot more stability uh, with, with this trailer in particular and really all trailers that are set up with the axles spread out just a little bit further. It's a very nice towing trailer and everybody that I've sold one to, uh, they, they do make note that that is very noticeable. Okay. So, um, Let's go ahead and uh, head inside here. Inside. <clears throat> now, as I said, we get arch ceilings in here. So, um, of course, they put these uh, trim pieces to kind of help break it up, uh, uh -huh. you know, because it, it just it just kind of fills it in. Now, if those weren't there, it just, you know, it it, it it's would look just blank. it would just be blank and yeah. and you know you put those in there so you can really take note of how much headroom you really have in this thing now still speaking of windows you get a huge panoramic on the back there uh, right behind the couch um, you get roller shades you get your Thomas Paine furniture uh, with the with the recliners uh -huh. freestanding table and chairs uh, huge island now uh, an island this size in, um, in a travel trailer it's a little bit harder to come by. Some some have islands, but you know they they're usually about this long. Right. You're getting almost a whole extra foot. Yeah. Now counter space. A lot of you might know that counter space in a in a trailer is uh, is is sacred. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know it's all about counter space storage. Uh, you know where 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 am I going to put all my stuff? Uh, so you know and on the back side here you have uh, big cabinet doors. Um, and you have also drawers and another big cabinet right next to the oven. Now, um, right back behind here, you get a nice, uh, you get a nice pantry. Pantry. Yeah. Right. And um, you know, and they have nice little edged lips on these on these shelves. So therefore, I mean, if you if you did have something stored up there while you're in transportation, it's less likely to yeah. fall out and go everywhere. Um, you know, nice little area over here for, you know, coffee pot. Um, you know, if you have a king, uh, go through a king and get a Wi-Fi right. router. You know, that's a nice little area set aside just for that. It's out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. Awesome. Now, fireplace back here 5100 BTU 32 inch fireplace uh, it's gonna put out nice heat you can keep your toes warm over here mm -hmm. uh, on the colder nights like because I, I, I do know some people that will camp in uh, weather right now and if you didn't know it is actually snowing outside yeah. right now yeah uh, and it's I think it's 
22 degrees. It's cold. I know that. <laughs> so I said it's painful. Uh, I walked out earlier and I'm like, it's it so cold it hurts outside. It it is uh, a little on the painful yeah. side. Yeah. Um, and and I do know that some of my customers they 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 camp in this kind of weather, you know, because you know the the going joke is is that that's that's where you can get the best spots. Oh yeah. Because nobody no, nobody yeah. else is there. Right. So. Um, uh, nice bit of storage here. You got your nice speakers, radio, Bluetooth, everything like that, and uh, storage everywhere. This is a very nice trailer for a rear, rear living layout. I like that table. table yeah. Sharp. Yep. The freestanding table and chairs. Yeah. Um, now, uh, some people might opt for, uh, they might ask for a booth dinette instead of uh, freestanding table and chairs. And some trailers, you can actually choose either or. This one in particular, I believe it's just table and chairs, but I think Heritage Glen actually has a comparable model that has a booth dinette instead. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have any questions about that, go ahead and just give us a call and, 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 we'll, and we'll help you out finding that. So I like that. nice fixtures. Oh, Heritage Glen has always been you know, uh, they, they've, they've had this thing recently that is just, you know, that nice rustic feel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everything's new, but it's that, you know, kind of aged old timey right. look. And, um, it, you know, a lot of gray wash color. And uh, it, it's classic. You know, it, it's even more classic than classic used to be. <laughs> you know, so it's, uh, it's very popular. You know, whenever somebody says, you know, I really like those like kind of rustic barnyard uh, type feel yep. uh, heritage glen my wife's very much into that look yeah uh, heritage glen so, every single time and in and so i am very much into that look yeah <laughs> and my wife tells me i'm into that look i mean I'll, i really am it is kind of wait so she cool. says you're into the look but are you really actually i kind of am okay but it, it took me a while <laughs> it so took like, you a while just looks old she's like no this is cool and i i, I can't yeah. around I it's timeless around. yeah you know it, it, it really is you know and um you know walking up into the bedroom here you know, you've got you got your bed and a slide. You get you get a really Jeez. nice uh, you get a really nice uh, pattern headboard up here. Mm -hmm. You get two uh, end table there, uh, two pocket end tables there. And if you can see, there's actually a little storage area to you know uh, put your uh, phone or put whatever you keep next to your bed. Um, you know, all that's right there. You got outlets both sides. Um, and I think on this trailer, you can actually fit this for a second air conditioner for okay. the bedroom only. It's a big old closet behind me. It is a huge closet. And, um, you know, you got your space up there for a washer and dryer. Uh -huh. um, now, as far as front space and a travel trailer, this is by far one of the biggest closets you're going to find okay. in, in, in a travel trailer up front. So um, you got space down low. You've got space up top in the middle, and you got space up top. Now, uh, I, I, may, I mentioned it earlier, but this also has um, uh, auto dimming lights. You know, so after it, it's inactive for a while, uh, <laughs> after it's inactive for a while, it'll yeah. actually shut itself off. I, know, I was looking. I didn't know what I was messing with. I'm just touching any button. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, hey, off. you know, figure it out. You got you got to touch and feel it. See how it all works. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is by far the most space that you're ever going to get in a in a in a upfront closet like this because some manufacturers, instead of putting all this closet space, they'll put something like a like a day bed. Right. Or something like that with a windshield up Which front. Which looks but, nice, but probably isn't going to be used like a closet room. right it's not very practical uh in a, in a lot of applications so uh with this you're definitely going to get the most space that you could ever imagine as far as a front closet in a travel trailer awesome yeah now um i know we walked through we walked by the bathroom and i know you're yeah. trying to avoid it <laughs> after the experience i just had yeah let's, so let's jump in there and for and for two tall 2009, I'm gonna get actually get in the shower. I, I was uh, I was just about to respond to one of his comments. He, yeah, we got to get in the shower. Yeah, and I, what's funny is normally every episode, I, when I walk in, I get in the closet just to or the closet into the shower just to make room so we can see what's going on. And oh, yeah. I'm like, don't do that every time. People are gonna start making fun of you. And then we got two tall. Yeah. like, dude, you gotta get in the shower. So I know how tall it is. <clears throat> Again, I'm six foot. There's a skylight above me. So uh, yeah, and there's I, I, and what what the camera can't really see with where he's at, but 
uh, there's actually a, a corner seat inside yep. of the shower there for the for the lady of the family. They 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 tend to love that feature a lot. Um, you know, you get a nice big deep uh, deep sink, which is uh, pretty big for uh, for a camper. If you've ever uh -huh. had one before, bathroom sinks aren't really all that big. No, they're they're pretty small. That <laughs> one's that one's a good size for. And um, you know, so and and of course, uh, you get your. Uh, toilet right here uh, I believe it is porcelain um, yeah that is, is it a composting toilet this that's, is not a composting okay. toilet but that's a composting one, one we can get you one yeah was it wholesalers.com <laughs> slash parts $960 right now <laughs> oh I like this picture yeah oh wait, yeah. that's a mirror so uh, medicine cabinet a um, lot of lighting everywhere as you see um, you know but yeah heritage Glen classic trailer always will be um you know and and when you when you walk into one of these things they're like man these they must have been making trailers a long time you see the craftsmanship uh -huh. and you know what it really comes with is is a lot of craftsmanship but it's not a whole lot of money either i mean we're looking uh 31 7 on wow. this trailer you know on on a payment you could be seeing uh, as low as 240 Jeez. Uh, per month it's crazy you know and it, I mean this is a lot of trailer for for a little bit of money and and to think you know when you when you go through and build out some options in it I mean in this trailer uh -huh. you can get a lot of options I mean upgraded AC as this one has uh, yeah. you can get a second AC you can get um, a couple of this or that options you know just go ahead and give us a call we'll build one out for you and and awesome. make make it real for you you want to give them your phone number yeah, our number here is 877-877-4494. Uh, my extension directly is 145. Uh, my name is Eric. Uh, you can call me Leroy, Eric, uh, Hey Guy. Uh, I'm pretty used to, you know, Whatever. responding to just about anything yeah. from being in the military. So That's right. Um, have, you know. been, have you been selling today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we are at, I think we're, shoot, I think we're coming around... 20 for the day wow. already uh it might be more i it, it's been so busy in yeah. there that i haven't had a chance really to look up wow. um but People are yeah. jumping on these prices and and uh they realize it's the place to get an rv oh, this yeah. this uh rv show is a place to get an rv oh yeah and you know and and uh, our rv shows i thought it was really funny that you know some of the some of the bigger uh i won't name any names of course uh -huh. but uh, you know some of the titans right. of the industry. Everybody knows them, and yeah. um, they just started doing virtual RV shows. And I and I saw it scrolling through my social media, and I said, "Man, that's funny. We started doing that a right. year ago." Yeah, yeah, that's old news. <laughs> you know, and uh, and it's just crazy to think that us being out here, in, uh, quite literally, in the middle of a cornfield, uh -huh. um, you know, that we're making such such big waves. Right. Right? It's not even a ripple anymore. I love it. So it, it's it's. It's pretty fun. We're, awesome. You know, we're very blessed to be doing this. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Yeah.